What's going on guys? My name is Renegade. Today we're here for AQW Q&A. Today we're going to be answering the questions you guys left on the last video, as well as questions from my Discord server, which will be linked down in the description. Each week, I answer you guys' questions that you ask me, either in the comment section of this video, and that'll be for next week's video, or again, like I said, you can join my Discord server and ask me questions there. I tend to get a lot of questions these days on my Discord server, and that's where I get most of my questions from, so you're kind of more likely to be put in the video if you're uh, in the Discord server, and it's just a good, good thing to do anyway. Either way, let's get into this week's questions. Alright, our first question this week is coming from Yeet, well his name is actually Tipsy Turtle, um, and they asked, why the fuck is your name Etho? So, my name is Etho because I just thought it was a cool name, it's really not an interesting story at all, I just thought it sounded cool and I wanted something sort of short. My original name on Adventure Quest Worlds was Koenigsegg 911. The 9-11 is not to do with the, the September the 11th 2001 attacks, by the way, it's to do with something else. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, I, that was my original name, and then I changed it to Ravenous, but I, I thought that was too long, and so then I changed it, finally, to Ether, and I just thought Ether was cool because it was a short name, wasn't taken already, and it just sounded cool, and it rolls off the tongue quite well. Our next question is coming from Migo, and they asked, what are your thoughts on glitching? So, by this they mean, like, bank glitching, quest glitching, room glitching. Um, I really don't support glitching in general. Um, basically, whatever AE's policy is, I kind of just align my thoughts with that. Um, I don't necessarily, you know, despise people that glitch. I understand why people do it, but, um, and I do sympathize with that, and it's annoying to, you know, play the game, and, uh, often the game's really boring, and so glitching obviously often speeds that process up. But generally, you know, if it's, if it's against the rules, and it's, a uh, it's not the way that the, that AE intended for you to play the game, then I'll, uh, I'll probably have to say I don't generally support it. I don't necessarily hate people who do it, but just, you know, I don't support it. Next question is from Yeet again, and they asked, what are your thoughts on the mass amount of microtransactions in AQW? So, basically in AQW there's a whole bunch of microtransactions, we got like ACs and Ace, more ACs and, you know, more, more, more ACs. Basically, there's just a lot of things that cost ACs. Um, I'm not really supportive of it, but I understand why they have to. Um, I don't really like the, AC, the mass amount of ACs, um, but you don't necessarily have to. I would prefer it if they didn't make uh, Dage and Nogath uh, either A, a really big focus of the game, or B, require, like, almost require microtransactions and, you know, in-game purchases to, uh, to farm properly or whatever, because Dage you have to pay ACs to actually, you know, get into, get into Legion at all, and then you, like, often have to, like, buy a, like, a Dage pet to farm, um, Legion tokens, and then with Nogath, it's, you can farm Nogath without, uh, without buying anything in the game, but buying pets and just generally spending money on the game makes it a lot faster, and so, I would, I do wish that they had just sort of, you know, focused on making the quests, uh, like, a certain difficulty for everyone, not just start splitting the player base into groups of people that had certain things and could do certain things and all that. But uh, I guess, you know, the microtransactions have to be there because otherwise they wouldn't be able to support the game. The game is really run by players like myself that spend a lot of money on the game. Like, if if players like myself that who didn't spend a lot of money didn't spend money, then the game probably wouldn't be able to run because uh, we, we, we do spend a lot, of, a lot of cash on the game. And it, I imagine that's what would pay for the server costs and the, the, you know, the staff members' salaries and everything. Our next question is coming from Stefan Sampang, um, and they asked, were you playing during Dage's birthday, and I presume you mean of this year, what about live streams? So, was I playing during Dage's birthday this year? Uh, no, I wasn't. I was, basically, when I quit last year from AQW, um, I really did quit, like, I didn't play, like, I didn't plan to buy any more membership, so I equipped a non-member set, and I equipped my favorite class, which is Card Clasher, and just left it. Like, I didn't log in for months, and uh, I didn't play during Dage's birthday this year. I didn't play pretty much during your entire period. I really don't play AKW all that much, unless I'm, like, trying to farm something. Actually, recently I've been playing a fuck ton of AKW farming Void High Lord, but, you know, I've uh, not been, didn't play during Dage's birthday this year. And also, he asked, what about live streams? I've explained this before, but I'll explain it again now. My internet is really, really bad. I live out in the countryside of New Zealand, and so uh, my internet is never going to be upgraded, and it's really, really bad. Like, when I say really bad, it's 3 megabits down and 0 0.6 megabits up. So it takes me, like, several hours to download, like, a 720p movie, and to upload a video, it takes me, like, 8 hours. Like, it's ridiculous. So, yeah, there's, there's not, a, not a chance. I would love to live stream, but I physically cannot. There's no way. I've tried to m make it work in the past, and it's not worked at all. There's no way in hell I could ever live stream on this internet. 
So 2035 is when the company estimates they can upgrade our internet by. So uh, how many years? 18 years I can live stream unless I like move out of this house or whatever. So hey. Our next question is going from Levi Bushnell. And they asked, what's your favorite class that you have? And my favorite class is Card Clasher because it's really interesting and fun to use. It's uh, got short cooldowns, relies on RNG, but like because of the short cooldowns, it doesn't really matter. And it's just got cool animations. The animations aren't too flashy, so the game doesn't really lag all that much. It's a pretty decent class. You know, it solos quite well and it's just got cool mechanics and I just like it. It's cool, cool theme. Our next question is going from Adhesion, Adhesion, I think. Um, and they asked, how did you find your set and what made you choose it? So my set is made up of uh, Spider Witch as the main armor. The weapon is the LED Dragon Blade or the uh, LED Dragon Blade, however you like to say it. There's only one D there, so it's either LE Dragon Blade or LED Dragon Blade. I don't know. Either way, uh, it's got the Gravelins Doomfire as the cape, and then I don't use a, p a particular pet and I don't use a helmet. So, and my uh, hair is uh, Fox Hawk from Myth Song. So yeah. Um, either way. I got the Dragon Blade, the Spider Witch, and the Gravelins Doomfire all in the same year, and it was 2015, near the end of the year. So, Spider Witch was from Halloween of that year. Uh, the Dragon Blade the weapon that I've got is from uh, Cyber Monday of that year, and the Gravelins Doomfire is from Frostville of that year. And that all is all my gear, all my set is rare as well. So, um, yeah, that's a it's a rare set. I just chose it because I don't know the the weapon's color custom, so I could put that with anything, and that was just a cool weapon that I had. So I tried it with that armor that I already had. I did so it was all built off of the armor as well. The armor is what I got first, and I just sort of liked the armor. Tried to make a set off of it. Because um, what, what I was using before that was uh, um, Arcane of Nogath with Ungodly Reavers of Nogath. So, like, I was fucking looked like a to Toys R Us character. It looked awful. Uh, but yeah, so I just added items on just as the time went by, I guess, to the set until I was happy with what it looked like. And I haven't changed it since because that's kind of, like, iconic for me now. It's kind of, like, a way to recognize me out just outside of my username. Because my username isn't Renegade, it's Etho, so it's, sometimes people don't recognize me. So if I want people to recognize me, then I wear that set. Our final question this week is coming from Nutty, and they asked, what do you think AE could do to stop AQW from dying? So what he means by dying is the playbase is actually getting smaller. Despite what people think, the playbase in general is getting smaller and smaller as the days go by. Play more and more players are quitting. YouTubers seem to be dropping off like flies. Luckily, I came back. Um, I don't know if that's a lucky thing or a, or a bad thing, but either, either way, um, the, the playbase is, is, is getting smaller and smaller as the days go by. Um, and AQW does have some interesting things within it, but it does have a lot of problems. There are two main issues for me. If these two issues were fixed, then I could really see AQW becoming a really popular MMO RPG and, you know, like being one a different... A different face, a different, uh, different game among a lot of very similar MMORPGs out there. So, uh, the two things that I think that the game needs to have fixed is the combat system, which I did a full 10 minute long video about in depth and fully scripted, fully, you know, it's a good video. I do, I do think that video is a good video, so you guys you should go watch that if you want some more detail regarding the combat system and how that should be changed, so I won't go into that here. But also the engine is just really bad. I think Flash in general should have been phased out many years ago. Uh, I believe that's what they're trying to do with the server rewrite, although it's hard to tell these days what they're trying to do with the server rewrite. Um, but yeah, no, they, I believe they, they need, do need to get rid of the Flash engine and, and maybe perhaps even go on to Steam. You know, they did mention that, and, and onto Mobile, and they did mention that as well. Um, because AQW, if they, if they did fix all the problems, then they would have an MMO RPG that is different. The fact that you can get your classes and equip them like items and have many of them like items and use them like items is considered a bad thing by some people who look at the game on the surface level, but I consider it a very good thing because it allows you to switch and you know change the way you play the game rapidly. Classes are actually pretty easy to come by in the game, and so I do think that that um, uh, making uh, making classes work that way and making just in general like, able to switch so quickly and adapt so easily is like a really cool thing and isn't really hasn't really been seen in many other MMORPGs before. And so I do think fixing those problems would make the game actually a cool, unique MMORPG, but that, as it stands, the game is a, a bug-riddled, laggy, uh, kind of hot mess, I guess, with a lot of boring questing. In fact, with 99.9% .9 boring questing with really, really underpowered monsters. 
Um, but yeah, either way, if you want to see more details regarding that whole situation, then go watch my video regarding the combat system. Before you leave any comments about what I said today regarding the combat system, you should really go watch that video. I did go really in depth and talk about a lot of different angles in that video, and I'm, I'm, I'm proud of the way that video turned out, so I would appreciate it if you guys check that out anyway. Either way, that's going to be it for the video, guys. Remember to leave any questions for, for next week's AKW Q&A video in the comment section down below. Or, as I said before, you can leave your questions in my Discord server. I do have a dedicated uh, text channel that you guys can just go into and just leave as many questions as you'd like. Um, and I just refer back to that when I'm making the video. Like in, you can see in this video, the screenshots from questions uh, clearly from uh, clearly from the Discord server. And I do, I do talk in there quite a bit. And, uh, yeah. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.